I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher, and today I'm going to be sharing with you all my insights on the top five mistakes that I've made as a self-published author in the hopes that you won't make them either. So I'm going to be going through them, and hopefully this helps you learn, but we all make mistakes as authors, as business owners, and I think it's good that we own those because they were all learning moments. So the first mistake that I made as an author was assigning one of my ISBNs for a PDF version of my first book, Nail Biters. I've never sold a PDF copy of this book. Why did I burn an ISBN on that? I think it was in my mind that I needed to have an ISBN for every single format and well, what if somebody wants to buy it as a PDF? I need to assign that and nobody has ever purchased this book as a, a PDF. So what I know now is that I only assign the PDF when I'm going to sell in a format like EPUB or paperback or hardback or audiobook. And then if somebody wants a really obscure digital version of it, sure, I'll consider assigning an ISBN and selling it that way. But I learned the hard way that once you assign an ISBN, you've assigned it. It's assigned forever. So now you know that too. That was definitely a rookie mistake from me on my first book. Um, the next mistake I made was not listening to podcasts sooner or specifically publishing podcasts sooner. So I did a lot of research on the web, reading blogs, reading websites when I was putting my books out. I never stopped to think about looking for podcasts on the topic of self-publishing. I was listening to a lot of podcasts about personal finance because um, I had friends in the space who were running podcasts. I wanted to support them. And it never occurred to me if, until like a few years later to be like, oh, there could be podcasts for self-publishing too. So that was a big mistake um, that I wasn't listening that much sooner. I wasn't learning that much sooner. Obviously, I listen to all of them now, but I wonder if that could have accelerated me that much further, that much sooner if I had been listening to podcasts earlier. So that was definitely a big mistake. Um, my third mistake, I will say, is using a KDP Select. So for my third book, I decided, you know what? Everybody's talking about all this money they're making on Kindle Unlimited and KDP Select. I'm going to give it a try. And for a year and a half, I kept my third book, Enemies of Peace, in Kindle Select, in Kindle Unlimited. So I couldn't have it anywhere else. So it was a year and a half where it wasn't available to libraries. It wasn't available on any other platform. And when I started, the first month with Kindle Unlimited, yeah, I got a lot of page reads, I got a lot of those free downloads, like that's awesome. But then I was locked into it for 30 days, or sorry, I was locked into it for 90 days. And inevitably, like at the last week of those 90 days, I'd see a few, you know, page reads in there and I think, oh, well, I guess I'm getting some money from it, I should keep it in. It was not worth it for the pennies that I earned for every page that was read over that year and a half period after that big push, like it was not worth it. And so that was a mistake on my part for trying a strategy that I knew in my heart wasn't gonna sit right with me, but I wanted to try it anyways, so I definitely learned from that. Um, my fourth big mistake was not connecting with other authors sooner and not reaching out to this community sooner. So for as much as I wanted a community, I saw this lingering insecurity from an earlier experience where I went to a meetup and I tried to connect with a traditionally published author and I realized that she just didn't want anything to do with me or really anybody else that she didn't deem in her mind to be worthy. It was like a really negative experience. So I took that and I kind of hid away from the self-published author community and that wasn't good either. So I realized it late in the game, but I'm really glad to have found the self-publishing community online, the author tube community online. This is really great. So that was a big mistake, not connecting sooner um, or trying to make those connections sooner. But I'm glad that I finally did because I've learned a lot. I've made some really great connections. Okay, and then my fifth big mistake, huge mistake, was barking up the wrong tree. And I will assure you, as a first-time author, you will bark up the wrong tree. Try to figure out what the right trees are for you. So I focused so much on trying to get my book into one local book fair. I was convinced that this would be a big ticket item, and it turns out it was really good that I didn't because it would have been very expensive for me to pay for the table, to rent the tablecloth from them because it had to be their specific color tablecloth. So why don't you just charge that in the table fee? I don't know. I would have had to order a bunch of books in there. And I had another author friend who went and she was like, yeah, I sold like two books, like 10 people walked by. Like 
I am so glad that I ended up not doing that, but I put a lot of mental effort and energy into trying to get into this book fair, you know, trying to justify all the costs. And thankfully, I didn't actually go through with it because that would have been a huge financial waste of resources um, and a waste of time for me. But I put a lot of effort into this one thing, whereas if I had put the same amount of time into my website, into getting onto other podcasts, into writing my next book, you know, I could have been doing so much better on those other things. So most people just say, okay, well, I'm going to do this one thing and I'm going to put all my energy here and it's a long shot. And I think it's because we see so much in our society, these stories of, well, the long shot finally made it. Yeah, but a lot of them didn't. Um, And that's definitely a survivorship bias there. So most people say, I just want to go to Amazon with all my books um, and they know that that's going to work for them. And maybe that's the right tree for them. But I would say really think about your strategy first. Think about the resources that you have, financial and time and energy, and figure out what is the right tree for me to be barking up right now for my books, for my vision, for my author brand. So that was a mistake that I made made it a few times, but that was one clear example with that one book fair that was a joke. Okay, so I want to share my mistakes with you because I am actually writing those into my author Your Ambition books for first-time self-publishing authors and book marketing for first-time authors as well because instead of you having to learn the hard way through you making the mistake, I want you to learn from my mistakes so that way your success can be that much faster. You can get to your goals that much faster. So if you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It lets YouTube know that you found it helpful. If you want to learn more about my author, your ambition brand or books, I'm going to drop a little detail right here so you can learn more about that and subscribe when those books come out. Uh, You'll be the first to know. Um, But I'm really excited to be able to get this in front of you and other authors like us. And now you can get back to writing your book.